So, hello Cyberland. My name is Marlon. The channel is Old Port Hacks. And what we're going to be doing today, oh, don't you love the glare on the glasses? I do. Ooh, glare. Is um, doing a review of something I'm trying to put on my little Chinese mini lathe. This is an OXA clone of an Alors tool holder. The OXA is the correct size for the, Ch the little Chinese mini lathe. Mine's a um, 7x14, it came from Belvoir, is the vendor, that, not that they made it. Anyway, the one we're looking at is from Auto Components 999. And um, there is a problem with it. So this is a little bit of why I'm doing this video. Uh, I am talking with the vendor. They are working to solve the problem, and I think we're going to get it resolved. Anyway, let's get into the actual problem with the tool post holder. They are, you know, the Allure's type tool post holders are nice. So anyway, I do want to put one on there. So on to the actual video. Let's take it apart. Now I've already had this out of the, this tool post holder out of the box. I've tried to assemble it. I was going to go ahead and put it on the lathe, but I thought I'd dry assemble it um, first here on the bench. Actually on the desk, but whatever. So anyway, this is how it came. It's actually a much nicer package than the one I got from another company that I sent back immediately. Um, you know, it doesn't give a maker on it, of course, because these are intended to be sold by everybody. But anyway, so let's see what's in the box. Ooh, the unboxing. I've already gone through this, so, you know. Here we have the 250-001 tool post holder. This is the 250-002. Um, these tool post holders are the same, by the way, as far as I've ever been able to tell. Then we have... Eh, we'll do them numerically. Just so you've never seen it. For those of you who've never seen one of these, the 250-004, the 250-005, and the 250-10. And we'll show you what's in these. And then we have the handle for the thing. And then the 250-000, which is the tool post holder itself. Let me throw this box over my left shoulder. Okay, now we have room to work. We'll get to the holder, because that's where all the fun's going to be. Let me quickly open up these. Just This is, again, a review of these two po tool post systems as well. This is a clone of the Aloris system. The Aloris tool post holders are one of the better styles. The interesting thing I found when I opened up these packages, by the way, is they come to me with the package already open. This is normally a sealed up package. You can see that this has been cut unevenly here. But when I opened this up, I was happy. At least this one's better than the first one I got. Let's see here. Of course not. Thingies. Uh, this will do. A pointer. Ooh, little sharp thing. Stab, stab, kill, kill. Okay. Now I've got something to work with. If you look here, you'll see that there's an actual step. And whenever you get these, you want ones that do have this step. This section should be relieved away. These tool post hold or tool holders seem to be much nicer machine than the first set I got. As I said, the one, the first set I got, I just, that was a piece of junk. You couldn't even put these holders on the tool post. It was insane. This, so at least this set from this manufacturer and from auto, uh, whatever, seems to be a little better quality. And this is again, is the 001. This is the standard tool holder you use for turning tools, cutoff tools, you know, your normal tools. The 2000 Tool 2 holder is also exactly the same. Get out of there. As I said, the bags are all, all pre-opened. You have the set screws you clamp down, blah, 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 blah. You adjust your height, blah, blah, blah. This away. I'm going to have to lose that. No, that's interesting. That's locked up. Oh, there we go. Anyway, and again... This set 
is well machined with appropriate little steps here and so on. As I said, the 2001, 2002, you can't tell them apart. They are identical, aside from numbering. Then we come to the 2004 tool post holder. The purpose of this one is, again, let me get this out, for handling boring bars. Again, height adjustments, your proper steps. You should have radiuses here, by the way, on these. The corners down here should have a small radius in them. This has an insert, by the way, that lets you to deal with two different boring bar si sizes, and then, of course, it clamps into the uh, fitting there. And that's for your boring bars. The 2007 is your cutoff tool holder. Again, cutoff tools go in here. And these are, again, they seem to be pretty well machined. I'm not unhappy with them. And then we have the 2000 or, two, or 25010, which is a knurling tool and also has another function on it. And again, nice machining on this. Overall impressive, and it has a section back here where you can then clip in another tool. So these are the the ones that came in the set. The set's about a hundred bucks, by the way. So overall, that part of it very pleased with. I'm quite happy there. Now we come to the actual tool post holder. On initial inspection, not too bad. Again, mark 2000 or 2500, 250, 000. The way these work is the tool holders slip into these dovetails, and then as you move this knob here, this wedge runs up and down to clamp them in place. Your cutting tools go here, your boring bar tools go here. And sometimes if you're doing or if you're doing terra panning, which still is a boring operation, and so on. It comes with this little plate, depends on how your lathe is set up. If you've got a T-slot, like one of the older lathes, that'll go in, or a lot of the newer lathes. The Chinese ones, for instance, this stud is on size to the thing that's in the Chinese lathe. Silly me, I tightened that nut up. Why did I do that? I'll be right back. Gotta go give it a wrench. This particular nut is 14 millimeters in size. proper cheap Chinese wrench for proper cheap Chinese tool post. Anyway, in taking this out is how you pull the two tool post on and off the lathe. You have a stud. This would either screws into your uh, cross light or if you've got a T-slot, the nut down there goes. So anyway, we're now down to the actual active part of the holder. And there's a problem with this one. It's locked up. It will not turn. So why won't it turn? Well, I found the problem. If I bump this, sorry. Got to get a screwdriver out. The problem is right here. This is the nut, or this, the post actually, that holds the cam, this is a cam here, it's got a, ser a series of gear, it's got a sliding gear on much like the internal threads on a, a chuck or something similar. And the problem is, it's too, it is just a little bit too short, it's a stand, or a shoulder type bolt. I'll have it out here in just a moment and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But notice, this will not turn. It's a left-handed thread too, by the way. Loosen it up ever so slightly. And now, if you watch, say for instance here, once I loosen that up slightly, the thing works properly. 
even there was just starting to kiss, it works properly. But if I tighten it and keep tightening it, it locks up. This is a problem. This bolt in that travel zone is just a little too short. Also, there's one other problem. If you watch the ring closely as I turn it, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a, a definite wobble in that, which says that the threaded portion of this on the base of it is off center. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Now, mind you, I haven't touched anything inside this block. All the, the grinding marks, such as you see right here, are from the factory. So this is the problem zone. Oh, by the way, notice down here, this ground area, it has not been deburred. And as Quinn Ducky over on Blondie Hack says, that means that uh, we're not se or this company is not separated from the animals the maker of it, not the seller of it. This actually has some edges you could carve a turkey with. Anyway, so the problem is the distance between this surface and this surface is just a wee bit too short. Just slightly too short. Also, as I said, this, and again, you, it's hard to see, but it's slightly offset to this side. This, this body here also Again, hard to see on camera, but this is not concentric to the main body of the uh, of the bolt itself. So this is the problem piece in this case. It's, again, the distance here to here is, I'm not sure how short. And in fact, you can even see where it's wearing. It's, it may have been they just didn't undercut properly here. Although there is a relief cut over here for that. It's just disappointing because overall, I haven't been unhappy with this tool. Now, the way this breaks down, of course, is you then unscrew this. from. If you're taking it apart, you unscrew that. And again, sharp edges. No, no cleanup whatsoever of uh, burrs. So again, a problem. But this is how this works. This is essentially a screw. It screws these jaws in and out. And those jaws just slide straight in and out and have a cam surface on them, which also is just a little bit rough, but once you get it started, it's not bad, but it's just eh, not completely happy with the finish there either, but it will wear in, so, and it will, it does work, so I'm not all that worried about it. Assembly is, of these is pretty simple, and these just slide, assuming you have any skills at all into the body. Now, as I said, that's assuming that you actually know where to put it and you have the skills to get it there. Sorry about all the shadows, by the way, too. I'm still working on my lighting setups. Again, these are some of my first videos. I will get slicker. I'll be a slick willy someday. And then this just screws back in. As I said, these then slide up and down. This is the normal action of this. But the problem is here. And the problem is this distance. Now, as I said, the company that I bought this from, who's just a vendor, by the way, that's Auto Components 999. I sent them a note last night, late last night, complaining of this. And by early today, they had gotten back to me and said, OK, can you give us some pictures or something? And we'll see if we can get the vendor to get you a replacement part. So they are working with me. At least I'll give them that. But this should never have gotten out of their, the factory without with that incorrect. So we'll see how this goes, and I'll update you guys once I resolve all this issue. I hopefully won't have to send this whole thing back to the company and try another one, because, again, I'm happy with the way these are made. I'm reasonably happy with the overall tool post. I have no problem with the worm, aside from the fact that it's a little bit rough on finish. I do have a huge problem here. Um, let's see, so is there anything else I should cover? Uh, screw, plate, body, go up, down, 
two of them. No, that's about it, I think. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. And uh, as I said, I'll keep you posted. This video is already getting long enough. Good Lord, 14 minutes. Have fun. Don't get caught.